Hey, welcome back to John chapter 6. And I just love this chapter. I mean, I guess I love every chapter, but I hope that you are loving to see how God is communicating to you through his word. All right, so let's dig in. The overview of this chapter is we see uh, Jesus up on a hill, and this is about six months prior to what we read about in chapter 5. And I love how he uses this as a discipleship opportunity. All right, Jesus sees this crowd of people coming towards him. And so he turns to Philip and he asks, look at all those people. And he asks a question. Uh, and he asked Philip, where will we buy bread so these people can eat? He asks him a question and it goes on to say he asked this to test him for he himself knew what he was going to do. So here he, what he does is he takes the eyes off uh, Philip's eyes off himself and onto the people. And how are we going to provide for them? How are we going to serve them? And that is so what, where our eyes need to be on the needs of others. How cool. So he spoke up and, you know, kind of saw him as a problem. Different disciples saw him as a problem to be sent away. Andrew speaks up about this resource that's available and it totally fell short. But God uses that tiny step of faith. He takes what we have and he multiplies it. And he ends up feeding 5,000 men. So there's more women and children there. And then, you know, he Jesus sees that the people want to make him king. So he sneaks off away by himself. He sends the disciples. He sends them into this storm. All right. And this storm we read about in, in other, um, other gospels is where Peter gets out. Jesus is walking to them. Get, Peter gets out on the water and walks on the water. And then immediately when Jesus gets back in the boat, it's to the shore. All right, so that is the overview of this chapter. What does this show you about God? I would love to hear in the comments below. Um, some things that stood out to me is Jesus is continually looking to the needs of others, uh, the needs of people, their, their food, their physical needs, as well as the needs of his disciples, how they need to be focused on the needs of others and how to help them grow into stronger disciples that are thinking of others and serving others. Uh, he's helping them to rely on him and not on the resources around him and not seeing his people as problems to be sent off. Uh, we also see that nothing is impossible for God. Uh, he's not hindered by lack of resources. He wasn't hindered by just a couple loaves and some fish, you know? <laughs> like He can use what we have to do um, the impossible. He can show off using the little meager resources we have. And uh, then some principles that stand out to me are is when you're not well known, there is a lot of ministry to be had. All right. Uh, he, he still had a lot of ministry to do, even though um, the whole world didn't know about him. Another is that God uses our initiation, our steps of faith to show off. He uses our tiny seeds of faith to reveal his heart and character to the world around him. Another, our people are not a, be a, a problem to be sent away. Uh, it, you know, it's our... Um, okay, and another is Jesus is not hindered by a lack of resources. Another is to answer... Um, the answer to our problems is not money. It's not raising enough money. And lastly, a last principle that stood out to me is sometimes God will send us into danger in order to rescue us from a bigger danger. All right. They also wanted Jesus to be crowned king and they would get to be his like, you know, right head man and stuff. And that was a more dangerous situation than the storm that God sent them into. So God will allow us to go through storms, but he will come to us. He will rescue us and he will call us to do things that we think are impossible, like walk on water. He will call us to do things uh, that um, don't seem logical sometimes. But when we keep our eyes on him, he will enable us to do things beyond what we're actually physically capable of doing. He is the one that sustains us. He is the one that draws us closer to him and uses us to show a lost and dying world what he is like. So let me know what principles stood out to you. I'd love to know. All right.